<coughs> Question number nine. The figure A, B, C, D below is a scale drawing representing a rectangular garden of length 60 meters and with 30 meter. So we have A, B, C, D. We have uh, this, uh, then it means this is 60 meters and that is 30 meters. The owner intend to plant trees in the garden. Each tree T must be at least 21 meters from the edge uh, AB. Uh, in addition, angle ATB must be acute. Show by shading the exact region where the trees can be planted and you get three marks. Uh, so what we need here is uh, if you take a ruler, you measure from here because this diagram is uh, drawn to scale you find that uh, this side here is five centimeter and this is ten centimeter using a ruler that is on the paper itself uh, so what it means is that uh, we can get how many centimeter represent uh, 21 meters so we can write here and say this is uh, then we say this is a uh, okay let's put that uh, is to that uh, this is meters and this is centimeter this is five so what about 21 meters and uh, we can say it is x so we can say x is equals to uh, 21 multiplied by 5 you divide by 30 and so you simplify here you find that uh, this will be represented by can divide there by three by five you get six by five you get one by six you get one by six you get three uh, that is 18 so it is 3.5 <coughs> so what you do is uh, you measure 3.5 you take a ruler and uh, you measure 3.5 uh, 3.5 meters a uh, centimeters rather and uh, you'll be able to find uh, uh, 3.5 is approximately that point uh, and therefore what you do is uh, you draw a straight line uh, from this point uh, we can uh, draw a straight line from that point uh, like that so this means that uh, uh, from here we have this is 21 meters uh, then for the second uh, condition we 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 need to make the angle that uh, uh, angle ATB must be acute how do you solve that uh, you solve that uh, if we draw a circle here a semicircle and we take AB as a <coughs> as a diameter then uh, we will get a uh, we know an angle subsended that the circumference by the diameter is 90. So that means that uh, we can bisect AB, uh, use your compass, and uh, you can use your compass, you make uh, two arcs here. Uh, so you can make, uh, you can make an arc here, and you also do the same to the other side. Uh, so this is your mark I hope that you'll be okay uh, so let's uh, do that again uh, so you take your compass to the other side and uh, you make uh, we, are, we are bisecting we are bisecting this uh, AB so that we can be able to get the center uh, so we now bring our our uh, our compass there and we will be able to get that so once you do that you can uh, can use a ruler and then whatever you get here you will be able to get uh, it is uh, it will give you the 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 center or the midpoint a b uh, you set it like that so that you will be able to get your midpoint AB so 
Uh, that is where you have, uh, when you are doing it using a ruler, you sh using the manually, then you should be able to get that point. Once you get that point, then you use it to draw, you use this as a radius, that is from this, you can write this is uh, the midpoint, then you can use your compass to to draw the the to draw the the semicircle using uh, that point as a as a okay let's use a let's use a, the, the 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 length here I may not be able to get the correct uh, but uh, at least uh, we know how to do that so let's use this as a as a diameter of the circle. I hope it is going to give us so uh, mine is may not be exact but that's how you you do it uh, I need to to, 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 to to remind you because uh, it part of the the circle is not part of the it's not part of the of the area because the angle is re is not 90 but less than 90 then we need to draw we need to draw uh, a dotted uh, a dotted a dotted line uh, semicircle to indicate that uh, the the line is not part uh, that is the circle is not part of the uh, of the region that we are looking for so this is a semicircle i'm trying to draw here I think uh, I can uh, put it like that. Uh, so we draw the our semicircle like that. Uh, so this should be easy for you when you are you because you just draw it uh, once, and uh, that should give you the 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 the. the the area so at least you have an idea of how to go about it so it means what this means that if you take this you draw any angle there we normally say that the angle subtended by the by the radius is 90 so any angle that is uh, below there should be less than 90 and that is the logic that we are using so this means that uh, the area where the tree is to be the trees are to be shaded, uh, to be planted is this area that I'm shading here. Uh, so that is the area. I can also shade the other part here uh, and uh, get the area where the, the trees are to be planted. So that's uh, where you, uh, so these are the trees, these are the trees. Uh, so that's how you work out that question and you'll be able to get three marks. I hope you have followed how we have uh, gone about. It has taken us time, but uh, doing it manually, you should be able to do it comfortably. Mm -hmm.